guys, and welcome back to another lip balm review. It's been uh, at least a few days, probably close to a week since the last one, which was intentional because I'm sure you guys noticed this guy and this guy, and I was not 100% positive are they cold sores or are they pimples? <laughs> uh, given the timing of the month they popped up, it should have been enough to tell me they're probably just zits, but um, given they were right at the lip line, they made me nervous. I slapped some Abriva on them. Came to head, popped them, which you probably shouldn't do if they're actually cold sores, but, you know, I'm me. So, um, long story short, they were definitely zits because they healed, like, almost instantly. This little spot left now. If they were cold sores, they would look terrible right now. So, on one hand, sad that I wasted time for nothing. On the other hand, I'm glad I didn't taint anything had they been cold sores. So, anyway, getting right into it, now that I talked for a minute straight and wasted your time, uh, we're gonna be doing another LA Colors Color Balm. Uh, this one is in hashtag double bubble, and it's bubble gum. Um, I'm not expecting much from it. As we've seen with all the other ones of this line that I've reviewed, there's like virtually no color payoff whatso friggin' ever. But they're still fun. There's the novelty of them being triangular. I mean, it's, they're still kind of fun. Like, let's not lie. They claim to be tinted and scented. We'll see how well they do. Get selfie ready lips with a hint of color and scent. Bullshit! But <laughs> let's, let's see if maybe this is the one that actually has some color, even though I have literally no expectation whatsoever of this actually being good. Why is it hating me? Okay, there we go. Come on out. Yeah. So, format-wise, it's just a stick that happens to be triangular. It's a pretty color if it were to actually show up. Unfortunately, we've established there's, like, virtually no product in them. That's it. It's as high as it goes. <laughs> um, there's only 0.08 ounces in there, so it's, like, nothing. It's a hair more than the soft lip skinny sticks. So, you know, it's, like... Nothing, nothing. Uh, but yeah, packaging wise, I mean, this is a really pretty color. I like it. It looks cool. I like the novelty factor. Hate that the cap does not click into place. It just goes right off. That bothers me still and will continue to bother me. That has been like my number one gripe about these damn things is these caps do not click into place at all. They just do this which looks rude, but I don't care. <laughs> it's all they do. Uh, but yeah, they are synthetic. They're not natural. I don't believe they're limited edition. I mean, they're they're dollar store lip balms. I mean, how limited edition do you expect them to be? Come on now. Um, shelf life. Do we even have one listed? Oh, I tore right through it, but... Yeah, it says 24 months after opening. As if... It would take you 24 months to use this up, but then again, for how bad they suck. Um, I, I don't see many people religiously using them like that, but if you were to for some reason, I mean, it would take you no time at all to go through this, just saying. So, price point-wise, again, they're dollar store lip balms. Enough said. Uh, Sturdiness-wise, they are not sturdy. I mean, this turn wheel is atrocious. Like, it just free wheels until you hit the point where it's all the way up, and then you could force it and you will break it. It won't go any further, but I mean, there's nothing stopping it. It just, you can see the points where it doesn't line up. It just, I don't know, they could have done so much better with this. It probably would have taken a little more money. I, I don't know, I have issues with them, but no special features. Let us see, does it even smell like bubblegum? Ah, on my nose. It actually does smell like bubblegum though, so all right. You got one thing going for you, little lip balm. Let's swatch on the hand. There's, there's frigging nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> Once again, I, I totally called it before I even opened it. I mean, given how all the other ones have gone, I'm not surprised, but I will put it on anyway. Because why the hell not? Although, it does make me nervous just how much like amoxicillin it smells. I'm like, please, God, no. <laughs> but I mean, that is the bubblegum scent, so whatever. Ew. Okay, so it's like bubblegum, amoxicillin, and the tiniest hint of ant spray. That is. Why the hell the. 
Yeah, I don't get that while it's in here. Only once it's on. That's alarming. <laughs> um, I, I hope I don't die for putting that on now. But, um... Hmm. So, of course, I, I have to lick it, you know, because it tasted like ant spray. Because I'm smart. <laughs> um, Thickness-wise, it's, it's pretty thin. It's pretty thin. And the consistency is super greasy. Really slick. There's no stickiness, at least, but, I mean, it is really greasy. Yeah, that's not wonderful. <laughs> um, but, again, I, I wasn't expecting much going into it. Um, shine factor, there's, like, a a little bit. Not much, though. It's not like a gloss or anything. I guess we're doing the drink test. Again, hope I don't die, but I mean, I'm sure I'll be fine. We, we've done all the other ones from this brand. I don't see there being something horrifically wrong with this one. Oh. Oh, God. That is a terrible chemical taste. But it stayed on for whatever that's worth to you. <laughs> um, so, I'm not going to give it the wow factor, though. This is just not great. <laughs> um, I'm going to wash this off the second I hit stop on this video, like, straight up. What will I rate it, though? Um, well... I'm not a huge fan of it being triangular. It looks cool, but the practicality is not great. The packaging with the cap, terrible. Uh, the sturdiness of that turn wheel, terrible. Um, the amount of product, terrible. Um, the scent in the tube, not bad. The scent on your lips, having that chemical smell, not good. The taste is terrible. Uh, it has no color of which to speak, even though it claims to have it. Um, I'm not giving it the wow factor. I think that leaves it with a 2 out of 10, honestly. <laughs> Which, you know, still feels a little bit generous for it, but it is what it is. 2 out of 10, guys. I would skip it if I were you, if you're a collector and you want it. Okay, but I mean, don't say I didn't warn you when you go to use it. It's awful. Um... I mean, the other ones from this line disappointed too, but this one more so than the others because of the weird chemical taste and smell. So, anyway, that is all I have to say about it. So, as usual, if you guys like what I do here on this channel, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Do any of you guys have this one? If you do, did you get a chemical smell and or taste off of it? Let me know, as well as anything else you feel like leaving me. Uh, make sure you're following my social media accounts, they're all listed down below, and if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. So, anyway guys, till next time, bye bye